It's very basic. When we're going to defend uh, rain or shine, we have to get back on defense right away. We have to be efficient on, uh, on our offense so that we could uh, uh, namin yung mga turnovers for any uh, runs that they can make. So they have responded, but this is just the first half. And we, what's important is we have to uh, check our emotions. We have to make sure that we funnel our emotions into the right place. We, uh, we want this game as well as they do, so we just have to uh, go to the bottom, which is execution on offense and defense. Thank you, Coach, for your time, and good luck in the second half. We will be taking a short break later on. Coach Ronnie will break down the first half. To the team survived to fight another day, but there can only be one survivor. Really for three! Flashing for the basket, changed his mind, changed his direction, changed the shot. It will not be easy going up against Rainer Sharn. It will be a tough job for us on Wednesday. What a feel right now for Saul Mercado. I think it's more on who wants it more on Wednesday. One more game to decide their fates. Who will survive? Those questions will finally have an answer as we complete this ball game. Already 24 minutes have been played. One thing that you can notice about this game, the theme apparently has been recovery and uh, rebounding and getting back into the groove of things. Rainer Shen was able to do that, but you know, Coca-Cola got their uh, rhythm back also and they quelled that uh, uprising by Rainer Shine. Coca-Cola one quarter number one, 25-17. In the second quarter, Rainer Shine came back, won the second quarter 26-25. They had a good run talking about Rainer Shine. This was down to three points, but eventually forced turnovers by the Tigers, resulting into easy points, and they will go into the second half with a 10-point advantage. Lamont, some of the uh, graphics that we will show you will be quite revealing. Keep in mind that Coca-Cola has not beaten Rain or Shine, but apparently if the first half was the only basis, they're way ahead. 24 minutes of action went in favor of Coca-Cola. As we take a look at the import scoring matchup, three points will not get the job done for Rain or Shine. In the second half, Rod Neely has to get himself busy offensively in the third and fourth quarters. Bench scoring, something that Rainer Shine was able to utilize in narrowing the gap in the first part of the second. Bench scoring has contributed heavily to the cause of their last two painters. Frost big points, that is a constant for Coca-Cola. They are scoring in the break, controlling the defensive rebounds, and the running game is functioning well for the Tigers. I don't know how much you can use your powers. The makeup art is not in the running game. I don't know how much you can use your powers. Running game. It's social, so it's not easy to get out of here. That's why we love it. But you know, Ronnie, you can see it. It's easy to say from one perspective. Okay, just attack the Coca-Cola. But when you play Coca-Cola, you take a look. Okay, you're out of the graphic scorer. That's it. So I'm just going to say, it's easy to attack the Coca-Cola. But they're not so big in the background. The Coca-Cola is really big in the defense. 96 to 8, before they come to the John Wilson. But in the last five games, Opponents have been limited to only about 18. At kabaliktaran naman na nangyayari dito sa Rain or Shine. Mataas ang opensa, bumaba naman ang kanilang depensa. Over the last four games, that hot rod nili has joined this squad. Okay, puntahan naman natin si Magu. Okay, Magu, take it away, please. And we are joined now by Rain or Shine head coach Kaloy Garcia. Coach, while you guys were concerned about Coca-Cola's high-low play in the first half, Gary D came away with 16 points. I think it's more of the communication on defense that we're having. I think it's just we're focusing too much on the Asi Taulava and then it's a spin and even the import. So I think the second half, I think we just have to communicate more on the defense. Sol Mercado, four personal fouls at the half. How do you protect them here in the second half? Well, you have to win the game. So if you lose, you're out of the season. So I think I'd be gambling him early in the second half. But other locals should step up. Thanks for your time, Coach, and good luck in the second half. Let's turn it back over to Seven Run. Thanks a lot, Mago. And you can tell, boy, that onus, that uh, heavy load on the shoulders. Kaloy Garcia can only speculate on how emotional that uh, halftime discussion could have been in the locker room of Rainer Shine. Well, the season is on the line for these two squads. It's either 
they go on to play on Friday or they go on a very long vacation. They want to replicate what they did in the previous conference, which is handle the challenge of the Coca-Cola Tigers and move over to the quarterfinals. Okay, Neely has the right thing in mind. Let's attack inside. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what Neely has done in the first half. Neely has played a total of, uh, let's see. 14. Ah, minimum 40. 20 14 minutes. minutes. 14 0 4 from the field, 3 4 from the line. Only 3 points for uh, Hot Rod Neely. And here in the first play of the third quarter, Reno Shine opening up the lane for Hot Rod Neely to do his thing. Attack the basket, go to the free throw line, and get yourself involved in our offense. Yan ang gusto sa kanyang gawin ni Coach Caloy Garcia. Medyo may preservation, ano? Wala si Sol Mercado sa floor right now. Palamigin sandali, no? Apat at the first of all. Masyadong malaking gamble. Yep, and that's why Aranya is starting out this third quarter para dito kay Coach Caloy Garcia. Tao Lava says, I'll try to muscle my way through, but Neely grabs the loose ball. There comes the forward pitch to Aranya, who will probably lay this in. And Risada was a step late. Ryan Aranya brings a lot of energy to the game of this young Turks. Ryan Aranya with Jeff Chan not scoring well, getting the nod to start here in the third quarter. Defensive stop, you can push the pace, you can score in transition. Three quick points here for Reynolds Shine to start the third. Now Jeff Chan has a second chance. I think they gotta set him up a little more properly and just not expect Jeff to just suddenly explode. I don't think that's going to happen. Jeff is not that kind of the I'll create on my own kind of shooter. Yes. Jeff Chan needs the four other guys to set it up for him. Here's Norwood with a nice zigzagging motion. Under the basket we go. Lawe grapples with it. And here comes Neely. Lawe asking for it. Here's a shot from the side. Yes. We talk about players waiting for opportunities to go catch and shoot. Eddie Lauri is almost in the same mold as a Jeff Chan. They need players who can create for them open looks. And when you have players creating on dribble drive looks, you have players who can also hit the shot from the Absolutely. perimeter. Absolutely. Eight points now for Lauri. 52-47. Rainer Shine knocking at the door. Coming within five. The lob pass inside to Tao Lava. Nearly tapped away. Dance in the box. Chico does it well. And... Uh, Spreads the lead again and makes it seven. Additional depth in the backcourt for Coca-Cola with every entry of Chico Lanet in the lineup of the Tigers. Neely with an awkward shot off the wrong foot most probably. Didn't get it to go anywhere. And RJ Risada just doing a little of everything and making a definite contribution to Coca-Cola's cause here today. I like the interviews Mago did with the two coaches. Yes. That was really uh, one of his ideas as we prepared for this game. I like the fact that, that you, you saw a bit of the pressure on the coaches, both from Bo Benazon and Caloy Garcia coming out of the first half and going into the second half. Neely finding an open lane, takes care of six points. Three points in the third quarter for Hot Rod Neely. Coca-Cola still protecting a seven-point margin. I like the way as this basket is converted. I think this is that part of the season where both coaches know that the X's and O's talk really doesn't work that much uh, at this point. It's really a um, time to draw it out deep from wherever they'll get it. I like the fact that both men have talked about managing our emotions. Yes. Like, look at, at the run. He's trying to ignite this team. That's right. We talk about uh, what Coach Bob Perasol mentioned a while ago, trying to uh, influence his players to manage their emotions, channel it to the right uh, function. And right now, Ryan Aranya trying to be the spark, trying to be the game changer para dito sa Elasto Painters. Yung mga bagong expression, yung mga game changer. Masarap ko sa sport natin, eh, nag-i-evolve. Yes. Kaya niyang one-stop, wala naman yung one-stop, one-stop na yun ng araw, eh, di ba? Tigilan mo! Bantayan mo! Bantayan mo! Like si Laura, masyadong libre! Ha-ha-ha! Sabi ng Renor Shine, magkakamali kayo pag binabayaan niya, nakakawan sila si Laura. Well, I don't think Asita Ulaba is willing to step out of that shaded area. 
Eddie Lauren trying to challenge Asita Ulaba to step out of the shaded area and close out long. Eddie Lauren so far very efficient from the field. 11 points. Lauren with some 